subscribers, respected viewers, welcome to Karbala. Welcome to the land of Hussein. Welcome to the land of Abbas. May Allah bless you and inshallah, wherever you are, you are in a good condition, in a great health. Uh, before I start this live Ziyara show, uh, I would like to mention two things. First of all, I would like to congratulate the whole world, especially Muslims all around the world, for the uh, Mab'ath of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Uh, where actually in this day, in such an occasion, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, as the last prophet. And by his prophecy, the uh, it was the last prophet. Uh, he was the last prophet, and he completed the religion uh, of Islam. He just brought us the the latest version of Islam, and the Holy Quran is an evidence for that. And Alhamdulillah, that we are Muslims, and Alhamdulillah, that we are Shia Muslims, and we are the followers of Ahlul Bayt. Salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi wa I'm receiving a call before I start talking about the second point that I was trying to say. So let's answer this call and inshallah after that I will be with you once again. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. MashaAllah sister, you're calling Karbala and this is live Ziyara show. Welcome to Karbala. Your voice actually is echoing into the atmosphere of Karbala and I would like to congratulate you for the Ba'that of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Would you like to be Za'ara from Hussein alayhi salam? Yes, sure. Sure, go ahead and perform that. I'm going to turn around, face the Holy Shalaf from Hussein alayhi salam and we all together will be Za'areen of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Please go ahead. Thank you. السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليك يا ابن رسول الله السلام عليك يا ابن أمير المؤمنين وابن سيد الوصيين السلام عليك يا ابن فاطمة الزهراء سيدة النساء العالمين السلام عليك وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين Now I'm facing towards the whole shan of Abel Fadl Abbas عليه السلام باب الحوائج السلام عليك يا قمر بني هاشم السلام عليك يا ساقي العطاشة السلام عليك يا أبا الفضل العباس السلام عليك يا كفيل زينب السلام عليك أيها العبد الصالح المطيع لله ولرسوله ولأمير المؤمنين والحسن والحسين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Sister, if you you're welcome and inshallah your ziyara is accepted and inshallah soon you and your respected family will be able to be here in Karbala. Thank you for your call and labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Hussein. Ya Abu Abdullah, we are receiving another call. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, how are you doing sister? How are you Mahdiya? Alhamdulillah, mashallah, I'm doing well and once again I'm happy to hear your voice and I would like to congratulate you for the Ba'tha, uh, Mab'ath of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And, and our heartiest congratulations to you too, uh, my dear brother Mustafa, and to all the staff of Imam Hussain TV, to our Mullah Imam Hussain, Hazrat Abbas, and to, uh, and to the Imam of our time as well for this wonderful, wonderful... Uh, Eid of ours. MashaAllah. Ahsan. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sister, if you're ready, you can perform ziyara and send your salam and salutations to Imam Hussain. Please go ahead. Are you ready, my dear? Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> <laughs> 
MashaAllah, thank you so much, sister. May Allah bless you. And inshallah, your ziyara is accepted. Please, if you want to say. Yeah. Yes, um, I, I'd like to first of all request a dua for my sister Zernat. Mm -hmm. She's going into surgery tomorrow. It's a very, uh -huh. very major surgery. So please do pray for her and pray that the surgery is successful. Very, very worried. But um, because it is the um, it is the blessed final nights of uh, Rajab and coming yeah. up to Shaban, Inshallah, you know, I, I have complete faith that um, Imam will be with her and sure, um, Mawla sure. will be with her, Inshallah, and Allah's blessings will be over covering her and protecting her, Inshallah. Inshallah. And, I mean, and I wish her a speedy recovery, Inshallah, and a successful surgery for her. And Inshallah, she re re relieves from the pain and, Inshallah, the sickness that she is in. And she, Inshallah, be healthier uh, and Long live, insha'Allah, in this world and serving Ahlul Bayt, salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi wa jama'in, insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. I think, you know, the, the importance of the night of Mum uh, Earth and Basad is, is so, such such an amazing blessing. You know, uh, Brother Mustafa, as a Sunni, we um, we weren't aware that this was the night of mm. Basad. And it was... Um, it was commemorated and, and celebrated as as Mi'raj. Yep. Uh, so the ascension to uh, to visit uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and um, I came across a couple of um, narrations mm -hmm. that uh, whilst the uh, whilst there is also a unanimous agreement of of um, the 27th also being the night of Mi'raj, mm -hmm. um, the Basad and Mabasa is, is is the perhaps most important because that seals everything. Yep. And uh, um, it, it's just quite fascinating to learn these different aspects of importance behind the Risala and and the message of uh, and the mission of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah, mashallah, and for sure. The mi'raj of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, and his uh, um, going to heaven actually by his physical body and talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly without any, uh, uh, you know, interference or without any connection, uh, you know, with a uh, third party, let's say. Uh, he, uh, yes. uh, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly and he reached the level which even the angel Gabriel couldn't uh, pass Finish. that level. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which is just mentioned in the Holy Quran in this, in this way. And inshallah, we uh, be truly followers of Ahlul Bayt and the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Thank you so much for 
mentioning yeah, this great yep and you know i think one of the best parts for me for miraj and in, in particularly reading the shia narrations mm -hmm. is that when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he spoke to him using the voice of imam ali exactly and when he shook hands of uh, of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was it was with the hand of imam ali mm. and then after returning from miraj when the prophet began to tell Imam Ali what had happened Imam Ali began relating every single minutest details to him yeah because during that journey Imam Ali was also accompanying him yeah and and, and, it, and the, it's something that's seldom spoken about exactly you know uh, Amir al mumin according to the Quranic verse which says uh, the mubahalas is uh, and Fusana wa and Fusakum, Amir al Mu'minin is the self of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And there is a hadith and narration from the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, about uh, the commander of faithful Ali ibn Abi Talib, السلام, which says, uh, tara ma ara wa tasma ma asma. You hear whatever I hear and you see whatever I see. This And the Holy Prophet Muhammad is uh, a person who doesn't speak just by his own, you know. La yantiqu an al hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha. So indeed, Amir al Mu'minin, commander of faithful al Abi Talib alayhi salam, knew what happened in Mi'raj. Uh, but the difference is that the Holy Prophet Muhammad is Nabi is the prophet yes. and the commander of faithful al Abi Talib is, is imam and you know uh, but <laughs> talking about these great individuals you know is just something else is 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 really it another really level is. yeah it really is it really is and and it fills us with contentment and alhamdulillah and, and strengthens uh, st it strengthens our iman as well as increasing, inshallah, the blessings for such a night and um, and and uh, and the rewards that we can reap as well. Yeah, exactly. And just sister, in order to make it more clear for the respective viewers that when you said that the Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talked to the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him by the voice of Amir al Mu'min Ali Abi Talib Ali Salman shaked hand with him by the hand of Amir al muminin it doesn't mean that astaghfirullah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got a body or uh, has got a sound by himself yeah. you know we shia muslims no, believe that allah contrary, yeah yes on the contrary shias don't as, as shias are, are fiqh and, and our understanding of the quran doesn't allow us to mm. believe in a physical manifestation you know I'm, I'm so glad you've mentioned this uh, brother mustafa because as a child growing up reading various sunni hadiths mm -hmm. uh, you know they and and, and uh, particularly the, uh, uh, the 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 narrations surrounding end of times and qiyama yeah. and everything mm -hmm. um, they they speak <coughs> excuse me they speak very strongly about a physical manifestation, manifestation yep of what and in many of the hadiths, and, and in almost a very disrespectful mm -hmm. way. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, and um, I don't want to repeat them because they're not even worth repeating because they're, they're just so, when you I, you read them, you, you, you realize that the illogical ridiculousness of it. But yet, you know, um, here we have Allah who, who's... Laysa yeah. There is nothing yeah. just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is unique, is Absolutely. is totally one of a kind. Uh -huh. Exactly. And yet to comfort to comfort Rasulullah and not to um not to um, overwhelm him, mm -hmm. he uses the voice of someone who provides that comfort to Rasulullah exactly. someone familiar and to him, like he said, unfusana one for some, and um, so so that you know the, the self of Rasulullah through exactly. Imam Ali, which is why one uh, Imam Ali's titles is Yadullah. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken, no, I, yeah. I read that somewhere. Yeah, so, uh, Asadullah, Yadullah, yeah, sure. And Yadullah, what, what uh, the, you know, the meaning of Yadullah means that the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and power, absolutely. yeah, uh, it, it is just like in this uh, translation, 
it can become true. And uh, indeed, Ahlul Bayt Salawatullah wa Salamu alayhi majma'in, they were the uh, power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given everything to them. Uh, so yeah. it's okay to, according to Ziyala Jama'ah, and I'm sure that you have uh, recited this Ziyala, which is a great Ziyala. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, and we learn a lot about Ahlul Bayt Salawatullah wa Salamu alayhi majma'in, their yeah. level, their virtue in this Ziyala. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for this opportunity, uh, Mashallah, Thank you're you welcome, too. sister, and I'm really happy to have such a conversation with you. Mashallah, you are so knowledgeable, and you have a uh, great idea about the Islamic, uh, uh, you know, uh, beliefs and ideas. That is great, and it's my honor to talk to you. And you are more than welcome wherever you. I, I learn a lot from you as oh, well, thank and you. I enjoy these conversations because I I get to you know uh, clarify a lot of my um, you know um, my, my my knowledge is not Alhamdulillah, I, I I still have I still have a lot to learn. Alhamdulillah, we all need we st we all still have got a lot to know. We have a lot. Uh, we have. Uh, we have to learn more about Ahlul Bayt Salawatullah wa Salam Ahmed, right? For sure, yes. this is not only about you, it's all, it's all about all of us. Because none of us, you know, none of us, <laughs> according to hadith of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, who talks to Amir al Mu'min Ali Abi Talib alayhi salam, says, Ya Ali, la, la, lam ya'arifuka illa ana wallah. And the, the translation, just give you the transition in English. Uh, Holy Prophet Muhammad says to the commander of faithful that, Oh Ali, nobody knows you uh, except me and the Almighty God. And nobody knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only me and you. And nobody knows me, only the Almighty God and you. So this triangle, so yeah, this yeah. triangle is a great triangle. Allah, the first yeah. creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the light of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. It was all before yeah. the creation of the light of the Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, Fatima al Zahra, you know. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala drove out the light of the commander of faithful Ali Abi Talib from the same light of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings yes. be upon him. Yes. This is the highest level of ma'rafah which has been revealed and told to us by Ahlul Bayt Salawatullah wa Salamu Alayhi wa themselves. This is beyond our imagination. This is beyond what Absolutely. we can think about. So this is our knowledge and the more we think about the more we understand that the less we can understand and know about Ahlul Bayt Salawatullah wa Salamu Alayhi wa This That's is what so I can true. say. That no, that, that's so true. We can we can only just scratch the surface yeah. barely if that... Exactly. Um, absolutely, and I've got uh, Mahdi sitting here listening intently, and I'm hoping, inshallah, she's taking everything in and um, understanding what we said. Inshallah. Shabba, you mad yeah? Is it interesting? Mashallah. You learn? Yeah, Mahdiya, we are talking about something really great. It's about the beginning of the creation. Beginning of the creation wasn't only the Big Bang. It was way and very, very uh, many times ago, many, you know, even, even time wasn't created yet, you know. We are talking about that time. Yes. It may be hard, and it is hard, to get the idea easily because as Ahlul Bayt Salawatullah wa Salam alayhi say, Amruna Sa'abun Mustas'ab, our issue, our uh, affairs are hard to understand because it is all beyond the imagination, all, they are all beyond the uh, thought. So uh, for sure, you know, we need to read more and more and more to be able to understand even just a portion of the knowledge that Ahlul Bayt Salawatullah wa Salam alayhi wa have taught us. I'm sorry for talking a lot, but I was real, I'm no, really no, grateful no, no, it's, it's and thankful to you, sister, for uh, opening this conversation. And that was really amazing. That was great. Thank you so much. Jazakallah khair, brother. And thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us as well and, and helping us learn even more. Madhya, what do you want to say? Um. Go on. Aren't you going to give Mubarak for Eid, Eid Miraj? And oh, yeah. Um, um, congratulations for, um, for today. For, um, what's it called? Miraj and Basad. Um, for Miraj and Mabath. And Mabath. Um, yeah. And yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mahdiya. 
And the day of Mab'as was the day in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angel Gabriel or Jibra'il, we say in Arabic, to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. And from that point, the Holy Prophet Muhammad became prophet. He started to uh, introduce Islam to the whole world. Actually, he first started introducing it to uh, Bibi Khadija and Imam Ali Aysam, also they, although they, they knew it already. And step by step, introducing through his family, his close family members, and then throughout the uh, population and the people who were just living in Mecca and, and Medina. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for tuning in. Is there anything else you want to add? No, we were just having this conversation earlier today. I was explaining to her how today is the day that, uh, you know, Rasulullah became officially mm -hmm, known officially. as a prophet. It's like almost like, you know, the contract was signed and, you know, how I was, I was trying to make it, in a, um, explain it in a way that Madia, Madia would understand yeah. in today's terminology. Yeah, sure, 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 exactly. <laughs> So, you know, it's like, yes, okay, you're officially the prophet, and uh, now go go and um, spread the message of Islam. MashaAllah, so, exactly, oh exactly, God. true. Thank you, thank you so much, sister. May Allah bless Thank you, and inshallah soon you and, and your respected family, especially Mahdi, be able to be here in Karbala. So I'm receiving yeah. lots of messages here on YouTube, and if you don't mind, I'm going to go through them and no, just please, remember please the so name of the Zareen. So thank you for your call, sister. Thank you. MashaAllah. Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Hussein, Mahdi. MashaAllah. Ya Hussein, ya Hussein, ya Hussein. MashaAllah. That was that was great. I'm really happy to have such a conversation with the respected viewers. You also can call and we can talk. Uh, you can perform ziyara. You can send your salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. You can uh, feel yourself here in Karbala. Alhamdulillah that this technology, thanks to this technology, which people are using it you know, in different ways, we are able to connect our hearts to the whole shalom of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. I would like to invite you to a, a short break so you can watch some beautiful footages inshallah and after that i will be back with the with reading the comments on live youtube please we have all lost loved ones our duty of care towards parents siblings friends and family does not end with their death rather we have a duty to pray for their forgiveness and to continue our kindness by conveying rewards to them by reciting Surah Al-Fatiha. Imam al-Sadiq sallallahu alayhi says, if you recite Alhamd on a dead person 70 times, don't be surprised if then the soul returns to the body. With a small contribution, you can have the names of your marhumeen shown on Imam Hussein TV3. For more details on how to get this done, WhatsApp, marhumeen, or call us now on the numbers on the screen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajum. Yeah, if you want to get connected to Imam Hussein TV channel through the channel of want to get connected to the whole channel of Abdullah Hussein Asa, we are available on different uh, platforms and inshallah you are all welcome to be a part of Imam Hussein TV channel. And here we have messages and comments on YouTube live. Ziyara show, which is right now. This Welcome to Kabbalah Live Ziyara show is also broadcasting on YouTube, so you can watch it. But before I go through the comments, I would like to do apologize for something. The uh, previous um, Thursday, unfortunately, I uh, wasn't feeling well, so I couldn't appear and I couldn't host the show. So uh, I really do apologize for that. Uh, because I uh, wasn't feeling well uh, and I really missed the live Ziyara show. Uh, also, it was the night of the martyrdom of Imam Qalam alayhi salam. So uh, I see that I have to do apologize for that. And if you were waiting for me to receive your calls to make it possible for you to be Ziyara from Hussein alayhi salam, but you didn't find the live Ziyara show um, live, because of my absence, please forgive me and accept my apology, please. Now, uh, 
I'm going to go through the comments here. We've got a few comments on YouTube. The first one is from Afruz uh, Chan, I think. Uh, yeah, it says, Labbaik ya Hussein ibn Mawla Imam Hazrat Ali ibn Abu Talib alayhi salam. MashaAllah, thank you so much. Thank you very much for sending your salam, even through the uh, comments uh, under the, yeah, under the Imam Hussein TV channel live Ziyara show on YouTube. We have another message from Wissam uh, Mavahib. It says, Labbaik ya Hussein alayhi salam. Uh, Bahi, please dua Karim Mula Muji Apna Ma'tami uh, at Kari Amin. I'm sorry, I think that the uh, brother Wissam is sending this message by the English alphabet, but the language is Urdu. So I wish if I was able to read it correctly. Uh, Sukayna Jafar says, Salam alaikum, ya Abu Abdullah, Salam alaikum, ya Abu Fazl Abbas, alayhi salam. Thank you so much, Sukayna. And Sukayna Jafar is also sending another message, says, Please, brother, pray for us to come to Karbala. Oh, I always do it. Uh, and I have already also um, asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it possible for all the respective viewers to be here in Karbala, but inshallah, I will insist. Uh, on this request, and I also ask Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam to grant all of you the opportunity of being here in Karbala. I especially ask Abu Al Fadl Abbas alayhi salam, the fly bearer of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, his Bab al Hawaj, and we also ask Abu Al Fadl Abbas alayhi salam to uh, give you the great opportunity of being here in Karbala, inshallah, soon. Sister Sukaina Jaffer also says, yeah, please, brother, pray for us to come to Karbala. And also, please pray for fast recovery for all Sikh people. Thank you, brother, for giving us chance for live ziyara and also dua for you. Dua's for you. Thank you so much, sister. Your ziyara, your message means a lot to me. I'm really thankful to you. I'm thankful to all the brothers and sisters who are watching this live ziyara show. My dear brothers and sisters, it's a great opportunity for me to host this, this live Ziyara show and to serve you, believe me. And um, I really don't know how to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this great opportunity. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Another message here from Farha, uh, uh, Farhana Nasir. Assalamu alaikum. Ya Imam Hussein, assalamu alaikum. Alayhi salam. Ali ibn al Hussein, wa Aulad al Hussein, wa Ashab al Hussein. Thank you so much, Farhana Nasir. She also says, Please pray for our physical ziyarats to our Imam, alayhi salam, to Karbala, Najaf, uh, Balad, Kazamain, Samar Amin. Insha'Allah, Insha'Allah, Insha'Allah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give all of you the great opportunity of being za'ar of Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, bihaq al Hussein, for the sake of Imam Hussein 